Today I'm applying Dimension to EW and I'm going to show you how I do it. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Rob the Average Lawn Guy. Welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, this is where I simplify basic products in order to make your lawn care life easier. In order not to miss out on any of this, subscribe now, hit that notification bell. All right, so I wanted to share this. Dimension is a commercial grade product. It's very important to read the label. Don't rely on any videos on YouTube to tell you exactly what to do with this product. This video is meant as a guide, but you're still responsible and it's still very important to read the label. Understand the chemicals involved and really protect yourself protect your skin when you finish using the product you make sure you take off your clothes and go wash it separately so the key to this is to protect yourself read the label so now that i did the scalp my next plan of action is to put down my second application of pre-emergent now you can go with any type of pre-emergent you want you can go granular if that's easier for you that's all good but i'm gonna go and use a liquid the liquid of choice I'm using is called Dimension 2EW. It has the primary ingredient dithiopyr. Now before I go on, it's important to read the label and understand exactly what dosage you want to put down. Application strength that you're going to put down dependent on your region, where you are. So I find depending on where you are, you're either going to use 0.28 ounces per thousand square foot or you're going to use 0.73 ounces per thousand square foot. But I find it makes more sense to go at the maximum rate of 0.73 ounces per thousand square foot. Now if you read the directions and you want to read where it says maximum use rates, it tells you do not apply more than 0.73 ounces of the dimension per thousand square foot so this is your maximum application rate you can make at any one time there's also an annual max you want to keep in mind the annual max is 2.2 ounces per thousand square foot so you don't want to go above this for the year now the directions on this is not as confusing compared to the prodiamine 65 wdg now that doesn't mean it's not any more effective, it's just not as confusing. Pretty much everything is laid out for you in thousand square foot increments. So again, depending on where you are, you're going to use somewhere between 0.28 ounces per thousand square foot or you're going to use 0.73 ounces per thousand square foot. Really depending on your situation and what you're looking to control. You also have certain state restrictions, for example in New York you're limited to how much you're allowed to use. Just remember, everything in this video is in thousand square foot increments. We apply products based on a thousand square foot. Now, before you go and start mixing this, the first thing you have to do is actually calibrate your backpack sprayer. Now, there's multiple ways to calibrate your sprayer. Now, what I did is I measured 500 square foot section of my driveway and I decided to walk. Now, before I walked, I filled my backpack sprayer to the max with just plain water. Now, the reason why you want to fill it up to the max is because walking with a full sprayer behind your back changes your walking speed versus walking with a half full sprayer. So I filled my backpack sprayer and I took note exactly how many gallons was in there and it was a total of four gallons. Next I walked 500 square foot. After I walked the 500 square foot, now I stopped and measured my time and it took me over two minutes to walk 500 square foot. So I'm going to take note of how much water is in my backpack sprayer. So I was able to use one gallon over a 500 square foot area. Now if you wanted to walk at a faster pace to cover more ground, totally up to you. I like to take the slow method. This will ensure that I'm not rushing to anything and I'm able to get complete coverage. I'll post a link in the description on exactly how I calibrate my backpack sprayer. Now when it comes to mixing, there's certain things you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need the product itself. Next, you're going to need a scale with some type of measuring cup. Optional but highly recommended is a marking die. And finally, if you're looking for any type of post-emergent control, 
which dithiopia does when it comes to young baby crabgrass. This is where you want to use a surfactant. I'm not going to go over surfactant with this video, but to establish any type of post-emergent control, this is where you want to use a surfactant. Now the first step is to fill your backpack sprayer three-fourths of the way with water. Next, you want to take your product and you want to measure it out. So I want to put 0.73 ounces per thousand square foot. Next, I want to add a little bit of marking dye, just a drop, enough for me to see where I'm applying the product. Finally, I'm going to fill the backpack sprayer up to the four gallon mark. You just walk at your normal pace that you're calibrated to. I have a 10,000 square foot lawn, so I'm going to have to repeat this process five times. Once I'm done, I go back and repeat. Now, if you wanted to get advanced with this, you can add more products along with the dimension. You can add any type of bug control or you can add a post emergent. Now, once you're done applying, you're either going to do one of two things. If you're using it as a post emergent along with a pre emergent, you're going to want to let it sit there for a few days. Don't water, don't do anything. Just let it sit for about three to five days, maybe a week then you want to water it in. If you're using it as a pre-emergent only, you can go ahead and water it in roughly about an hour after you make your initial applications. And once the product has dried, it is safe for pets to go on the lawn. So that's it guys. Hope you found this information useful. Be sure to subscribe for more future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.